What is up guys, it's Terrible here and welcome to this episode 79 and the last episode of the third season of Oxford United. And uh, let's get things underway. We have two games for you today, Doncaster and Birmingham. And oh my god, Birmingham is the biggest game of the season and it just so happens to be last. Look at it, if we win, we... Uh, well, yeah, let's let's find out first. Okay, so obviously I'm going to be playing all my strongest players at this point in time. And, uh, yeah, so you, you know, I, I hope you, none of you guys are surprised by the lineup. You know, I have a Tanisov and Lucas Piazon and Mr. F. And I rotate them all out with Constable and um, my wingers. But, uh, yeah, we had a... We started off the more positive of the teams. We created the more chances, but we... Uh, at some point, I had to, like, be careful that uh, Doncaster didn't actually attack me more but to any other thing, we did we did take the nice lead uh mr f showing some strength and a bit of pace uh holding off to his defender and taking it around the keeper easily i don't know what the keeper's doing and uh sliding it into the bottom corner nice and easy one nil to us 29th minute and we are set to go all out for the playoff places that's a corner and uh yeah watch this from the corner tires off picks the ball up at the edge of the box and then finesses it straight round into the bottom corner 38 minute goal makes it 2-0 and all of a sudden we're cruising and we are ready to go all out and show that we deserve a Premier League spot and when Doncaster give us a penalty in the 40th minute Atasov steps up to take it you know you all know he's never going to miss penalties not when it's this important not when it's this crucial uh, this crucial stage in the season steps up to the mark and uh, you know uh, slots away easily power powerfully into the top left corner I believe that is and uh, well, we're 3-0 up and we are set to go all out and, you know, finish in the top uh, top few places in the league. You know, uh, we are in the playoff places and we're not going to fall out of them even if we lose all the last two games. But uh, what we do need to do is, uh, is push for automatic promotion. And that kind of got, uh, you know, driven out the window there because Doncaster actually scored and made it 3-1. And all of a sudden, we needed another goal to, you know, really kill things off. And a of keeper made a really good save, tipping it onto the post there. But uh, that would have been a nice goal to score. But uh, suddenly, suddenly things turned all around in the 80th minute. Doncaster made it 3-2. And we had to be on our guard and we had to get ready. And we had to be able to defend for the last 10 minutes. You know, just keep possession of the ball. And, uh, you know, some feeble shots. And uh, that's what it resulted to. If that was what it resulted to, to keep the lead, then and that's what it would be. Lucas Piazon should have really killed the game off there. But uh, in the end, you know, we managed to hold out for the last 10 minutes to make it 3-2 to us. Three very vital. I cannot stress enough how vital these um, league points are and uh, you know a 3-2 win over Doncaster is always nice to see as well and uh, let's quickly look at the table before we move on to the last match of the season against Birmingham and we are second uh, we are one point in front of Leicester and Leeds and within touching distance of Wigan who are two points behind so if we win against Birmingham or uh, uh, yeah if we win against Birmingham we have we have we have we are we will be second we will be achieving all that promotion that is what we're going to be aiming for so uh, maybe Birmingham Birmingham, uh, they're, they're, they've won it. Like, we can't catch them up. So, uh, you know, hopefully they'll put out a weaker team. But that wasn't the case. They actually put out a very, very strong team. And uh, they were they were up for it. They were actually attacking me more than I was attacking them for the first 15, 20 minutes. And uh, Zigic hit the post a couple of times. Zigic won an absolute beast. But uh, in the end, it was Lucas Piazon who, uh, you know, provided our first chance. It wasn't in the end. It was in the start. But, uh, yeah, the keeper saved well. But uh, Mr. F eventually rose up on the 29th minute to win the uh, rebound off the header and uh, he scores the most important goal for Oxford United this season and the goal that puts us 1-0 one, uh, one up against Birmingham and if we win this game we go automatic promotion I really don't want to play off play uh, the playoff games I don't want to go to Wembley or anything like that all I want to do is have some fun no all I want to do is uh, finish second because that's uh, that's what I'm aiming for looks better than Applauds the effort from, uh, I think that was Jose Cruz there early on. And, uh, well, oh, Clark was nearly caught out. Zigic, I don't, I'm not sure how he didn't score that. But uh, at this point, on, I was just defending for my life. Birmingham had so many free kicks because I gave away so many fouls at the edge of our box. And, uh, you know, we didn't have any clear-cut chances anymore. It was coming towards the 70th minute. And, you know, it was only chances like that for, from Constable, who I uh, switched out for uh, for a Tanisov, I believe, uh, because Tanisov had very, very bad fitness, and uh, yeah, I didn't want to, you know, tire him out or injure him for like four months or anything stupid. But it was the 90th minute, and all we had to do was defend the corner. And uh, oh my God, that nearly went in, but uh, it flashed across the face of goal, and uh, we eventually managed to clear it out. Their keeper's pegging it backwards, and 
and we eventually do pick up the ball and Watkins smacks it out and all of a sudden Lucas Piazon uh, is on with the break and can he finish? Yes he can and Lucas Piazon smashes our way to victory and smashes our way to automatic promotion. For the third season in a row guys we have been promoted and uh, that was the final score 2 0. Birmingham win it. Uh, you know, well done to them. We couldn't catch him up, but uh, I will take the automatic promotion. There is the final stage, uh, the final stage, the final league table. Leicester and Leeds both won their games, as did Wigan, actually. So uh, if we had lost there, we wouldn't have been second. We'd be in the playoff places. So anyway, moving on to some transfers and uh, some contracts before we finish. And uh, I actually. I actually signed Lucas Piazza, even though it says we don't have enough money to offer the enough wages. I do sign him, uh, just not here. I, I do it off camera. But uh, this uh, this is the contract I offer. I make up for 20, with 20,000. You know, I sort it out and everything. And uh, I also renew uh, James Constable's contract and Billy Selesky's contract because, you know, I need their players. They are very good, very capable players. And uh, actually, yeah, Lucas Piazza wants them back to St. Paolo, but that doesn't matter because uh, I'll be signing him next season anyway. Uh, just, just saying. And uh, yeah. Um, my virtual pro tour for the has uh, has been able to score 38 goals and uh, the whole team keeps it up and uh, we are all promoted and we have finally achieved Premier League status as a club and I'm going to say I'm going to let you guys know now that uh, we had an amazing season apparently and here's the job office I won't talk about them because you can see them in the background but uh, they give a, they give me a very nice transfer budget for the Premier League season and uh, I am ready for next season guys I hope you are I am pumped and uh, it's going to be uploaded to probably tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it will be uploaded tomorrow. So uh, get ready for it, guys. But uh, Birmingham actually came in with the best offer. And so did Wolves. Uh, you know, two Premier League clubs you know, wanted me to manage them. But uh, I'm going to stick with Oxford. They're the only way to go. And actually, Osuana, Osuana wanted me to manage them as well. But uh, I couldn't. Uh, I'm going to stay with my beloved Oxford. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. It's been a really good season. And uh, thanks for all the support you guys have given me. And I'll see you next time. Uh, and start the next one. Bye.